kuna maneno ya e-teams ambayo imetokea tuliona wakulima wa avocado walipiga nuru wakafukuzwa wote akia yale huko sasa hii watu wamekuja tena wapi hapa Kakamega na huku Western wanasema sasa wakulima wa miwa pia wafanye nini waingie kwa hiyo e-teams sisi hatukatai hata ukisema kila mtu alipe ushuru ni sawa ni sawa lakini mkulima haswa mkulima wa miwa mkulima wa mahindi katika Kenya hii sasa anahangaika hapati faida ndio tunaanza kufufua uh, upanzi na ukulima wa miwa na nyinyi mnakuja mnasema tufanye nini mnataka kuwalipe ushuru na tayari hawana faida ile wanapata ile ningeomba ni kwamba hii serikali iangalie vile itasaidia wakulima kwanza wakulima waweze kunawiri ndio tukuje na mambo ya taxation sasa hizi nikusaidia mkulima si kwenda kuchukua ile kidogo ambayo amepata tena tunataka kumnyang'anya na tuliona watu wa avocado walikataa deputy president akaita hao kwa kikao kuongelelea mambo ya nini ya e-teams tunauliza huyo deputy president ndio mwenye hii serikali hizi policy ni za hii serikali Hatufikiri hizi policy kuzite, kuzipiga msasa kabla tupeleke kwa wananchi. Tunapeleka kwa wananchi ikifika wana react ndio si. My request speaker. My request and this is a very reasonable respect. Any time a government policy comes in conflict with the livelihood of human beings in that area, that policy is suspended until a better operational method is found our request as mps from western kenya is that you lead us to negotiate with the government to suspend that aspect of policy so that we find a better working mechanism for sure speaker we are no lesser beings than the people who do avocado in muranga So if they suspended it for avocado they can do it for maina maloa. Kwanza nimesikia hapa wajumbe mmeongea vizuri maneno ya tax. Tax ya wakulima, wamiwa, kumekuwa na tax ya avocado. Nyinyi msianze kuomba serikali. MPs you have powers. Nyinyi ndio mnipitisha hiyo finance bill. And then mu amend hiyo finance bill. Go back to parliament and do your work. Your work. Sasa ukija kuambia mama hapa hiti hiti hiti. Huyu mama anajua elewa hiki kitu. Just amend the finance act na maneno yatakuwa yameisha. Simple and period. Waacha mimi niwaambie nyinyi watu wa kupiga kura. Mtu asema ati nyinyi mmekosana. Nyinyi amuelewani. Watu ambao wako na shida eh, Kenya hii ni sisi viongozi ambao tumechakuliwa. Na hii shida yetu ni kwa sababu ya matumbo zetu. Kila mtu anafikiri anaweza kuwa president. Ningependa kuwaomba nyinyi. Kwa vile sisi tumemtambua wetangula kama kiongozi ambaye sasa ametuweka pamoja na tembelea pamoja hata na nyinyi ningewaomba. Kwa ile serikali yote ambayo itakuweko lazima tukue na umoja ndio tupate matu matunda. Mali huyu tangu lako namba 3 Kenya mzima. Sasa mimi nashangaa nyinyi waluye nani aliroka nyinyi padri Kuna hii ngili sijui kwa Corinthian but lazima tujue ya kwamba uwezi leta tu change kubwa kwa watu wa chini alafu faulu Kuna wamama wako na miwa tinga moja kuna wazee wako na miwa nusuweka we said sisi ambao tuko juu tukamliwa na tukikamliwa ni subsidy kwa wale ambao hawana kitu hapo chini. Let us be considerate to our people na tuwe na methodology ambayo ina favor mtu wa chini. KRA must reconsider their position and also number two, afa waleta sanity kuhakikisha kwamba ile miwa ilikuwa na kuwa harvested at 12 months haifanyiki hivyo. Saa hii tuko na miwa mingi. Na hiyo miwa ingine inapita wakati ya harvest tunaomba kampuni zetu badala ya kuleta miwa kutoka mbali waanza na wakulima kwanza kwa sababu kupata permit imekuwa tena kisirani and is demoralizing na pia afa inue kama west kenya they used to crash 6000 tons wakarudishwa to 3000 kiwango yao pia iende juu 
We must be bold enough and say we have nothing to lose. We have come of age. We have to be decisive and say we must drive our people to where they are supposed to be in support of the government of the day. Now, 2027, we claim our stake there. Like in it, see, me, me, I'm not going to the government in 2027. This is what Na sisi kama kina mama tuna waomba hivi. Kwa miaka hii yote kama unataka kulinda Kenya ni lazima uanze kulinda nyumbani. Na mpandane nyinyi wenyewe. Because you can't have tolerance for Kenya and forget tolerance must start home. Kwa hivyo kama sisi tunatafuta hii uongozi ya urais ni lazima tukuwe na tolerance nyumbani. Na siyasa si kupendane, nilisema lugari nitarudia. Siyasa ni interest ya watu wenu. Ni vipi mtaona maendeleo na watoto wetu waendeleo kuenda shule ili waweze kuona hayo maendeleo. Ama ni vipi sisi tunapoondoka tunawacha hii generation yenye na uchukua uongozi. Hiyo ndiyo swali tunafaa kujua. Na mimi kazi yangu ni kuleta watu wetu pamoja. Mimi sipigani na mtu na sina haja kupigana na mtu. Kazi yangu ni kutafuta watu wa kuje pamoja. If you want to unite with people outside your region, how do you fight people in your region? You must consolidate your region ndi utafute area ingine. Nyinyi jamii za western Nataka kuhakikishia harakati ya kufufua nzoia, kufufua mumias, ile mambo imesemwa hapa ya kwamba additional production lines ya ethanol, ya cogeneration, na ile yote, nitaambia kamati ya agriculture ya bunge ichunguze kama inahitaji kupewa kipaombele kwa budget, tutasungumuzia kule tukienda naunga mkono governor wenu amesema 2027 lazima sisi zote tuwe katika mrengo wa serikali tuendelee kuchangia kusaidia watu wetu hata wakati kazi imepatikana hadi sababa hiyo kazi si ya mtu binafsi mzee wetu Raila Kenda Addis kama chairman wa AU that is a job sponsored by the government of the Republic of Kenya Na kama serikali ya Kenya kwanza ingekuwa ya chuki hata wangechukua mtu mwingine lakini tumeketi tumesema he's a statesman he's not going there because he's being done a favor he's going there because anaweza hiyo kazi Na akiweza hiyo kazi hapa nyuma lazima kazi iendelee Hawa kina otuoma Hawa kina baraza Hawa bunge wetu wote Let's sit together. How we will walk to the future, our end will justify our means. Na sisi tunajua, tutaweza. Wamalu alitembea hapa peke yake, akichekwa, akitusiwa, akiambia we ni maskin. 2002, kura za mulembe zote zilianguko kwa kikapu moja. Kila mutu, wale wale uchaguliwa wote, tulikuwa na wamalu. Munga akamchukua imechukua muda wengine tuko sasa. Hawa vijana wamekuja juzi juzi ba na bechi za siasa muno. Eha afienya kuiluka hasuna munjika na kama huwaka linyuma. Omwe na ye lusi ya kafu kweli. Eh fweza kwenya kore kana na ba na tawe kwa kwenya kuamba asibuli mundu kuchewe kwa sababu mfue mekaribia mime ni kumushukuru tu governor wenu wana otuoma in another one month we want to be nibusia na utupangie tusungumuze mambo ya maendeleo when people see us together the way we are here even if we don't say anything wanainji wanafrai tu tukopa moja Na father vila umesema, mimi nimekujua leo, 
Hii ni njia yangu ya kwenda nyumbani na kurudi Nairobi. I'll be turning in even if you don't invite me. Ni kuja tuketi tuongea. Mambo yote mmesema kuhusu ukulima, kuteremusha bei ya miwa na mambo ya e communication kwa wakulima nitayapelekea kwa rais wetu ila ashughulikie. Na mimi nataka kutetea wabunge wetu. Tafadhali tukiwa kahafla kama hii hawa wabunge wetu wamechaguliwa na hao wananchi. Ni vizuri kuwapa heshima yao. Kwa sababu mimi nawaheshimu sana. Hakuna mbunge hapa upiga usingizi bungeni. Wote wanafanya kazi. Hapa mbunge wenu na Blindo na Blinda amekuwa mambo ambayo mmeongea hapa ya miwa mambo ya teams i know bunge wetu you have an opportunity na mtafanya ile kitu mkifika kule bunge na mimi kama kiongozi wenu i want to appreciate you kwa sababu tumeamua kutembea barabara ambayo ni ya maendeleo na barabara ya kuleta watu wa western region kwa pamoja tunataka tuende safari moja ili mwaka wa 2027 we must be in the next government ili tujipange sawa sawa kwa mwaka wa 2032 hiyo ndio uongozi ambayo tunataka na lazima tuanze kujipanga mapema time kwa hivyo nataka niwaombe kwamba politics is local hata mkipenda msipende politics is local and regional watu wanaanza kujipanga na safari ya kesho tunaanza leo Watu Mount Elgon na Mount Kenya wanajipanga, Nyanza wanajipanga, sisi pia lazima tujipange vile tumeanza kujipanga namna hii. So mimi maneno vile umeshikana hapa na B speaker kiongozwa hapa and all leaders. Kuna vitu vingine ikifika kwa vitu ya watu wetu, it must transcend party or political lines. Because those become political interests za watu wetu hapa. And once you have got a political purpose utapata tu watu wanakuja pamoja utapata tu tunavutia pamoja and then we are able to push our agenda lakini ikifika pahali huyu anaongea maneno hii kidogo we are intolerant mtu ukisema hii kidogo wengine makasiriko hiyo inakuwa shida hiyo iwezi tuwezi kuleta watu pamoja namna hiyo na tukiwa na differences hakuna jamii hazina differences lakini inafikanga kitu ile wanasema hii ni muhimu kwa jamii they pull together. Si ati we are unique. Hata ukienda Mount Kenya, iko Embu, iko Meru, iko Kikuyu, but they pull together na as Mount Kenya. Ukienda Kalenjin same, iko Wanandi, iko Kipsigis. Lakini hapa saa nyingine mtu anaanza kusema sijui nyumba ya Mrembe, sijui nini. There's nothing unique. Sisi tuweze tu kuamini that we need political power na watu wakuje pamoja and at that time if it will form speaker you are senior to us but i'm also aware kwa hii serikali tumekuwa na vice president mara ngapi saa hii waliye we are number 2 in population of this country lakini our population does not reflect in the national hierarchy In the national hierarchy is I took number 3. Na we tangu leo number 3. Tumetoka number 2, tumeenda number 3. Tunaenda nyuma ama tunaenda mbele. Today hapa Matungu kwa bedroom ya Fernandez Baraza, we must have a declaration that the grand march begins today, today. And the leader of that grand march ya kuelekea state house ni mheshimiwa Moses Masika Wetangula. Hatutaki namba 3 mheshimiwa Wetangula. Vumilia tu kidogo hii ya Ruto kwa sababu najua twendi kia. As we speak now speaker wale ambao walipeleka miwa katika factories ati wanangoja e teams ndio iwalipe pesa. Na wakati wanangoja speaker pesa yao iko pale. School fees hapa Blimbo Girls wanataka kulipa. Chakula ndio hiyo imepanda. Bus fare to Bungoma imepanda. Tukakamega ni sorio speaker hiyo maneno tukifungua bunge tare nane I mean on Tuesday lazima utupatie nafasi kidogo tueleze wenzetu 
na tuwaambie serikali kwamba let them tax at the source na wamalize hiyo maneno watu wakiona watu ya jamii ya western wanakaribia kuungana pamoja wanatupa huko bone ili tutawanyike lakini mara hii tunawaambia hatubanduki 